daily devotional for Saturday, December 25th, Christmas Day, 2021. Scripture reading today will be from uh, Luke 2, 15 to 20, excuse me, to 18, and also uh, Isaiah 9, 6 and 7. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told to them concerning this child. And all who had heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Christ was born. All the world was alarmed. You know, today we have social media, but then we had great signs in the heavens. And if you continue reading the Christmas story, so to speak, you know, you would hear and read about the uh, the wise men that traveled from afar and the, the great light that was seen in the, the heavens. But all heaven and earth declared the birth of this precious child. Born in a lowly place, but yet he was the king of king and lord of lords. He was the savior of the world. He is the mighty prince the counselor. He has never changed. He's not the babe in swaddling cloths anymore. He's the risen king. He's the savior of the world. We need to just honor him so much, just praise him and, and give all honor and glory. As they said, glory was glory, the, the uh, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. There's such a message in all of this, you know, we just, not just at Christmas time, but throughout the whole year, we need to be reminded of the birth of Christ, his birth, his death, his resurrection, his ascension. At this time, he was made flesh and dwelt among us. I just pray that this day, I know there's such busyness always in the holidays and at Christmas time and the joy, especially like with little children, what have you. And I plan on spending time with my grandchildren today. But let us not forget the real meaning of Christmas. You know, Jesus came to give life and life everlasting. And he really lived his life for us and died for us so that we would have eternal life with him when we leave here you know we are those who are blessed and highly favored we have if you know christ then you have found favor with the father let us all seek that real gift of everlasting life and don't just hoard it for yourself share it with others let the kingdom come and god's will be done in your life in this day. Be blessed and Merry Christmas.